What's up guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to do close-up macro photography of this spider right here. So this is a really cool looking spider. If you take a look at its fangs, it's got these large black fangs that really do not match the rest of its body and he is on the run. Alright, so let's get, let's see if we can get him to slow down here and then we can get some close-up macro photos. So. I'm not sure where he's going, but if he comes up higher, we can get up close and hopefully get our shot. So, yep, it does not appear like he wants to sit still. All right, so he sat down on the opposite side of this leaf. So I'm gonna, nope, he's running. So this is the difficult thing about taking pictures of spiders is that they do not like to sit still oftentimes. But let me show you the setup that I'm using here and we can you know, find something else to photograph. So here is a Raynox macro lens. This is a lens made in Japan, the DCR 150. And all you really do with this lens is you attach it to the front of a digital camera. So this is the Canon PowerShot SX60HS. I'm currently recording with the SX40HS. So this is the latest model of this camera. I like this one so much. This is my first macro camera that I bought the latest model. And you just attach the lens to the front just like so. Turn it on. Zoom in, aim at your insect, and you can get amazing super close-up macro photos. And that's all you really gotta do. So let's find something else to photograph. So throw our macro lens back onto the front of this thing. And let's see who else is out here. So here is a Nope, gone. All right, so here is some kind of nymph. It's a infant of some kind of other, maybe a tree hopper, something like that. There's actually a bug sitting on the lens, but here we go. So some kind of tree hopper nymph or something like that, I would say. This is a very strange looking insect. So let me zoom in. Kind of having trouble here getting the focus, but that's really where the most difficult part of this is, just getting the proper focus. So I have to move my camera backwards and look at this really strange looking insect. This insect blew my mind a few years ago, the first time I saw this thing. So this is like the immature form of some kind of other some kind of other bug. So let's get focused and we'll get a shot of it. I don't think that was really in focus, but... There we go, so pretty cool looking bug. Let me show you its, its face. So it's on the move now. very strange and look at its tail that's pretty cool so let's move on and see if we can find another spider to photograph here so here is a very, um, another strange looking insect. This is a spider. And I'm just gonna do a handheld shot here. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can get in even closer than that. Blurry. Blurry. 
I'll take it. So if you guys have any questions, drop a comment down below and I will hopefully be able to help you out and hopefully you guys will enjoy doing macro photography as much as I do because it's a very relaxing, peaceful hobby that really gets you in tune with nature and just allows you to calm down and see what's out there. It's like you're exploring new species that you've never seen before and you're able to take the photographs that are wallpaper quality photographs and that's really something that you know not many people realize that you can do with a you know two three hundred dollar setup maybe even less if you buy used equipment so check it out and enjoy <laughs> 